Hey everyone, what's going on? Nexius here, going over the Battle for Azeroth mounts with you guys. I want to give my thoughts on them. We have a lot of creative, cool-looking mounts in the Alpha, Beta, whatever they're coining this Battle for Azeroth, data mining, uh, whatever it is. Either way, very exciting-looking mounts. I'm really like excited about a lot of these different ones. I want to show you guys my favorite one by far, and it's actually the first one here. Uh, this is known as the Hive Mind mount, and it is supposedly going to be a multi-seater flying mount. So it's going to be really cool because the current two seaters that we have, you know, some of them are kind of cool, like the Sandstone Drake. Uh, if you did recruit a friend, you have the Rocket and a couple other ones like the Obsidian Nightwing. Uh, like some of them are kind of cool, but you know what? I don't think anything can top a hive mind and so uh really awesome mount really cool very creative love it awesome it's not your typical horse mount it's just really different and it's awesome now for the second mount here we have a b mount which could be anything um hornet b i'm guessing it's a b but honestly there's so many different species uh i'm sure a lot of you guys know about the nitpicking on that i'm gonna just call it a b mount since wowhead is calling it a b mount here so this one's really cool. Um, I just like the look of it. It's different, and that's what I like. It's creative. It's different. I know bees aren't necessarily creative, but we're so used to dragons and dragons and dragons that to see something different is just really nice, right? And that's why I like it a lot. Um, so overall, I'm like honestly, I wouldn't ever use this, I think, but it's a cool mount nonetheless, right? So some mounts out there are just really cool, even though I personally wouldn't really use them. Um, the only time I would ever use this mount is if I were to go into, say, Dalaran or Stormwind or whatever the main city is in BFA I'm gonna fly up to people and I'm gonna be like the walking guru I'm gonna be like Zenyatta right you know that monk who uh, flies around and gives people advice and my advice is going to I'm gonna be this monk who's on this gigantic bee I'm gonna fly up to people and I'm going to be like you know what the secret to happiness is you just need to be yourself just be yourself you guys get it because I'm on a B, right? I know it's it's not that funny. Sorry. Let's let's move on before you guys get really mad at me. So the next mount here, we have the Blood Feaster mount. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys will be feasting over this interesting looking mount. <laughs> Personally, I'm not a fan of these creepy looking kind of mounts. Uh, not a fan at all. But some people are into this kind of thing. Um, but overall, like, what is this? Is this like some kind of bat? I like I can't. I don't know. I, I don't know what this mount is. It's it's different. That's for sure. So uh, you got like these little suckers here. Um, <laughs> I don't even. Like, what is this? It's like some creepy looking bat? I, I don't know. All I know is it's creepy. I got like this little egg looking thing up at the top, kind of like a spider. Like, this whole thing's just creepy. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> it, it, I mean, some of you guys might find it cool. It's definitely not something I would ever use. I would just collect it and never look at it again. Um, that's the Blood Feaster mount. We have a Brutosaur mount. So, here we have a Br Brontosaurus, or whatever they call it. Uh, Brutosaur mount in the game. That's what they have it here as titled. Uh, co cool looking thing. Um, more dinosaur mounts. It's pretty different. Uh, I like it. When was the last time we saw dinosaurs? Was that, um, Mr. Pandaria, I think? I, do we have some in Tanan Jungle, I think? I think it was last time in Mr. Pandaria we had some dinosaurs. So that's the last time I can think of. So this is kind of cool. Um, these little spikes here, uh, like, those are just kind of weird. But, um, overall, really cool looking mount. I like dinosaurs. I, who doesn't like dinosaurs, right? Uh, so that's the Brutosaur mount that's coming along. Um, this makes me kind of wonder, like, where... Do some of these inhabit or like um where do they originate from where are these inhabitants from uh, so i'm kind of interested in where like the dinosaurs are going to be are they going to be in cold Tiris or you know because like some of these are pretty interesting right like uh the blood feast amount i'm guessing this is like the zandalari because i know they have like some blood trolls i saw some of the teasers of the blood trolls for example some of the models a lot of people are big fans of them apparently so my guess is this is something related to the zandalari trolls uh, no idea about the brutosaur uh, looks like we have some HD updates on the horse mounts. I don't know where these mounts are. I don't know if they're completely new mounts. Uh, based off the color of them, it looks like they are updating the human racial mounts. That's my guess anyway. I, I can't confirm that. I have no idea. But that's my guess. These look like the uh, human starter mounts, right? Level 20, level 40, or whatever. Uh, I guess level 20. It looks like they're updating them. So that's actually pretty cool. I would not be surprised if they are separate. So like they're their own mounts or their own NPCs. But the human racial mounts will share this model. I, I, I don't know, personally. I have no idea. But it looks like that's what these are. I would not be surprised. That's really nice on the updates there. Um, so pretty cool mounts. Uh, we have a hyena. That's a hyena? Okay, that's a pretty scary looking hyena. That looks like a Warlords of Draenor styled hyena. It doesn't look like a hyena from like the Barons. It looks like a more savage type similar to Warlords of Draenor. Um, pretty cool overall. Wouldn't use it personally, but that doesn't mean it's not cool. Th like this looks like it comes straight out of Gorgrond to me anyway. So really cool looking hyena mount here. 
I like the little hair on the back here. That's uh, pretty cool. Uh, skull on the side, of course. Skulls and spikes. I mean, it's Warcraft. What do you expect? Uh, nice little iron chain there. Like I said, totally looks like Gorgrond, if you ask me. Um, so interesting mount there. Um, here we have Gladiator's Proto Drake. So it looks like the Gladiator mounts are going to be Proto Drakes again. I know a lot of people were a fan of Proto Drakes back in Wrath of the Lich King. Not Gladiator specifically. They got like Frost Worms and stuff. Um, but uh, like Proto Drakes were really cool back then. I have a couple of them. I have the blue Proto Drake from Utgard Pinnacle. I have the red one, which I forget where. The violet one, I think, is from uh, uh, World Events, I think. Um, and collecting 50 mounts or something like that. I have a couple of them. I have the green Proto Drake as well. That one's from Shulazar Basin when you hatch the egg. So Proto Drakes are really cool. Uh, these ones are a bit different, though. You can look at uh, the armor. So they have armor on them. Uh, unless these are like HD versions and the older versions have armor. To be honest, it's been a long time since I brought out my Proto Drake mounts, so I can't remember 100% what they have on them, like armor. Um, but overall, pretty cool looking mounts. Proto Drakes are cool. I know a lot of people are fans of them, so that's kind of nice. We're only 7 of 30 here, so let's try and speed this up a bit. Uh, Vicious War Basilisks, or Basilisks, however you pronounce or prefer to pronounce that. These are uh, the new PvP mounts. So this season in PvP for Legion, we have the Fox for example, we got the bear and the lion uh, the season before, I believe. So now we have basilisks coming in BFA here. They are continuing on the PvP mount trend. When you win 40 rated battlegrounds or 103v3 ba uh, arenas, almost at battlegrounds. Uh, yes, arenas still exist. Uh, of course, it's kind of hard to say right now <laughs> because they're not very alive at the moment. But yes, they still exist. So we do have some PvP mounts. Pretty cool. Um, down here, the Zandalari Direhorn. This is an allied race mount. So if you are playing a Zandalari Troll, I guess this is what your mount is going to be here. Um, usually they do reskins, right? So I would expect like a recolor of this or at least multiple recolors. But this is generally what you're going to look like uh, with your mount. Or at least this is what your mount's going to look like. So uh, no surprise there. We had the Direhorns back in Mr. Pandaria with the Warbringers. Uh, they had these kind of mounts. You could uh, pick up like three or four different Direhorns, if I remember correctly, off uh, the Warbringers. So no surprise at all there cool looking mount uh the proudmore horse 2 now i don't know uh what these are in regards to like are these like racial mounts or what's going on i know there were some human models that were shown in the data mining and some people think that you might be able to play as the cult tiers humans as similar to um orcs they are going to have straight backs or if you want to keep them hunched back uh, you can choose either one of those options i believe so i think people are speculating this is not fact this is speculation here people are speculating that you might be able to choose what your human looks like between the current human model and then maybe a cult tiers human and there's like two or three different options so maybe this has something to do with it or maybe cult tiers humans are becoming another allied race i have no idea all i know is this is another mount um honestly i wouldn't be surprised if this is like a reputation mount for the cult tiers uh, human so would not be surprised at all there as we can see there's a couple of uh, different forms of horses here so we've got quite a lot here my guess is these are going to be like reputation mounts this one totally looks like it would be a reputation mount I'm um, going down ooh a frog mount okay that's creepy that is creepy now I, I, I don't want to insult anybody here but this kind of reminds me of Gallowix Am I, am I being a little savage to Gallywix here? But this totally reminds me of Gallywix. Uh, interesting mount. Again, see, creativity. I really like this. Uh, I personally would not use it. Um, I'm I'm totally into, like, tigers, right? So, you know, being my monk player, being the monk player that I am, I really like tigers in general. So I would never switch off my class mount. My class mount is the best, man. Just awesome. And then the unique animation of casting in a Mistweaver animation with the mists. You know, my tiger mount is too good. I don't think I would ever replace it, especially with something like this. But that doesn't mean this isn't cool. I still think this is awesome. It's very creative, very unique. Having a lot of different types of mounts is cool. People can show off their favorite animals, whether it's a tiger or a frog or whatever. So I really like this. This is really cool. Um, next, we have some more horses here. So we're at 17 of 30 here. We have some goblin hovercrafts. Now, this is this is kind of interesting. Why would we have goblin hovercrafts as mounts? So, like, what does this mean? Why are there goblin hovercraft mounts? Is this, like, is this like a faction-specific thing? Are we going to have, like, Gallywix and some goblins more involved? I mean, that's not surprising. We have Gallywix already in the, uh, the cinematic for the Azerite earlier in Legion. So, like, what's going on here? Why would we have goblin mounts showing up here? That tells me that goblins are going to be playing a much heavier role, not just in terms of Gallywix in a story, but goblins in the game itself. There's got to be a reason why we have some goblin mounts showing up here so uh, that's that's kind of like getting my brain ticking here trying to figure out uh, what what's the point of these goblin mounts uh, maybe something to do with the faction war of course right with Gallywix and uh, the SI7 so we'll have to see but we have quite a few recolors here 
Um, we have a giant parrot. So this is apparently going to be a mount. If you like parrots, you get to ride a parrot apparently. So that's really cool. Um, again, we're going into creativity here. We don't really have a parrot mount, I believe, right? So that's really awesome. Um, you know what this totally reminds me of? Uh, this reminds me of Donkey Kong, right? Where you could ride that parrot in, uh, what was it? Was it Donkey Kong Country 2 or something like that? You could ride the parrot and it would shoot like uh, like pellets of something. I can't remember. Um, it's just a really classic game from my childhood. So like the first thing I think of with this parrot and mounting a parrot is basically uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, I think. So uh, that's really cool. Again, creativity kicking in here if you like parrots. You're going to have a pretty unique uh, mount as well there. Uh, green version of the parrot. That's really cool. I'm all about green with my transmog, so like that's pretty cool. Um, here we have a Krog mount. What? <laughs> what is this? I have no idea what this is. Uh, this is... They're, they're getting pretty creative with all these teeth and tusks and spikes. Okay, the, the, the spikes on the teeth isn't really creative, but the way they're designing it... Uh, they're, they're getting different, so I'm kind of curious to what on earth this is, where this inhabits... No idea, but interesting looking mount. Wouldn't use it personally. Uh, Pterodax mount, uh, of course. No, this doesn't surprise me at all. Again, Zandalari, right? Uh, Miss Pandaria, we saw a lot of the Pterodaxes. We saw the Dire Horns. So to see uh, the, the Pterodaxes and the Dire Horns coming in as either class mounts, or in this case, this could be a general mount. Who knows? Um, either way, not surprising at all with the Zandalari zone and the Zandalari trolls coming into this expansion. So nothing surprising there at all. Um, the Krollusk. Uh, this is different. I can't really tell what this is. I don't know if this is like big armor. This looks like it's uh, horns part of it, and then we have a bit of armor on it. Is that like an eye? I, I, I don't know what this mount is. Kind of hard to tell with this still picture. Um, either way, to me, it doesn't really look that interesting. Wouldn't use it, of course. Um, but interesting mount. Wait, I just said it doesn't look that interesting, and then I say interesting mount. What one am I really saying? Okay, it's interesting in the sense of it's different. Like, it's not like your typical thing, right? It's not a horse or a tiger or whatever. It is different, different, but it's not interesting enough for where um, I would actually be interested in using it. So, there. Just got to clarify that. Uh, moving down, Hyena... Hyena Mount, wait, what was that called? Hyena Mount Black. Okay, so that's kind of cool too. Uh, we have these really cool hyena looking mounts. Um, I really like the hair on this. It makes them look a lot better. Why does everything have to have spikes, horns, and skulls? Like, ugh, Blizzard, come on. <laughs> You're getting very creative with your mount types, but the armor that's on the mounts, like, can we have something different? Why is it, why is it always got to be spikes and stuff? Uh, man, it would be nice to see something different. <laughs> but the hyena mount's pretty cool. Um, white color here, a much brighter color, uh, which is nice if you want to stand out more. Another recolor here. I like this one. Uh, this one looks much better. I like the face. Like, you can see the color difference here. That's really cool. I like that skin variation. And here, this one straight up reminds me of Frostfire Ridge. This one reminds me of Gorgron. Tell me, am I the only one? Am I crazy here? Does this not look like it comes from Draenor? It totally does to me, especially with the spikes and skulls. It's totally yelling orcs to me. So here we have a hyena mount from Gorgron, hyena mount from Frostfire Ridge. At least that's what it looks like to me. Obviously not from those zones. No one wants to talk about warlords. So overall, it looks like those are all of the mounts. Um, so I am really excited for a lot of these different mounts. They are getting very creative this expansion with their mount types uh, They're very different compared to what we usually see. We always see some kind of dragon uh, Like Stormheim, right? We have those different kinds of drakes, right? They're kind of similar to the proto drakes and the regular drakes So like we always see something similar, but we've got a lot of different kinds of uh, mounts here parrots frogs, right? Uh, whatever this is a crog. I, I don't know what that is. So like all these different kinds of mounts I like the creativity here uh, really cool um, um, so don't be afraid to leave a comment down below what you guys think about the new mounts. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in with me with our passions for this game. Thanks as always, and I'll see you next time.